morning guys welcome in my shed my name is the old mechanic and what do I have here in my shed today a Beamer an R1150 GS and it has some issues I'm gonna do a full maintenance oil oil filter change um, air filter change, spark plug change. Gonna check the valve clearance. And then there are two more things. One of his front fork seals is leaking. So we're gonna place two new seals into that. But he also has a lot of play on his rear end gear. Come on over and I'm gonna show you. So guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can renew the bearings in your end gear. This uh, BMW R1150 GS has play onto it on the rear wheel. I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, when you feel play, don't wait too long. No, it's not going to be any better. It's only getting worse, and it could go worse very quick. So. Now, first I'm going to show you how you can see if it's the bearings inside of your end gear or it's the, I call it the pivot, I think, the, the uh, rotating um, end gear bearings. But first I'm going to show you the play. It has. Come on over. The first thing you have to do is get the rear wheel off the ground. As normally when it's on its center stand, this beamer, the rear wheel is onto the ground. So I have my winch attached and as you can see the wheel can rotate freely. Then we take the wheel like this And perhaps you already can hear it, that knocking sound. But we're gonna, I'm gonna get you closer. We have a look over there. So, holding the look. Hopefully, you can see it. I'm gonna. If you look carefully. in a bit okay and again now guys to be sure that it's the bearings in here and not these bearings of this yeah pivot I think it's called there are two needle bearings bearings in here two needle bearings it's simple, get a strap and put it onto your center stand and rear brake. Put the bike on the rear brake and then do the same thing. On this side is easier. And then feel if the play is still there. See? And the. Maybe you can hear it. Wait a minute. Listen. Ha <laughs> ha. 
goed. Ja. Ja. Oh, wonderful. Great. Protection plate. Oké. Okay. Now guys, as you know by now, I hate sand. So first thing I'm gonna do is have my vacuum cleaner and we're gonna clean all sand. Now, as this, I'm not sure. Mm, I think it's leaking a bit. Now, we're gonna first take this one off. Then we're gonna take the wheel off, the caliper. Hmm. Easy. Bakje. Then, come here. Crack them loose with the Allen key. No, no. Long time. Poof. Wiggle it a bit. Okay. Yes. Allen bit four. And then, of course, I forgot something. Always do it with yeah, a feel. It's a tiny bolt, and according to what I know about BMW, is that there must be some Loctite on it. They love Loctite. They buy it in gallons. What? Well, I think trucks. Those big trucks. Yeah, there is some Loctite. Okay, one up and then two more. There and there. And those are one size bigger. Okay. This one loose. And over here, one up. Oh. This one, and that's five. Yep. Should loosen the, this one first. Rear brake pads are fully gone with the wind. I think. Oh, yes. One. And another one. Another one bites the dust. Same length. With a washer, tiny washer. So, what did it? Now we're gonna take the uh, ABS sensor off. It's easy to. That's the Torx, of course, BMW. Yep, and that's Torx T. 25 and that is also Loctite hmm. 
Yep. No, no. Yes. Yes. Carefully wiggle the screwdriver underneath it. Just see that it comes. Hopefully you can wiggle it. Yes. There is this very special uh, shim. It's aluminium. And it was underneath it, I think, like this. But we have to. Oh no. There is one more. Two shims. Okay. First thing we're going to do now is take the wheel off. And then can I get the oil out? Yeah. Good plan, old mechanic. Now guys, 17 mil. Put the bike in gear. Okay. And then gently crack them loose. Careful, there is a rubber o-ring in there. I'm gonna put some paper. So we, as you can see, there's a lot of sand. Maybe this. Then there is an okay. Torx 45. Oh. It's so easy. Come, good job. Okay. Now watch, guys. Over here is also a yeah, bracket. Not sure. Is this a bracket? was in like that. This one has a washer. Hop. And we have a look. They are the same length. Oh, that's good. Now. Hop. Yeah. Wow. want to scratch anything. Over there is a, a nut of 10. Yes. Oh, wacht. Die kan uit. Op. Kant. Ratchet. Wow, the the brake fluid is almost yeah down empty. So long time no maintenance. Up this one out. Yes, and then hey, that's great. So and now we can take the wheel off. Da -da -da -da. Okay, now guys, going to the other side again. We already cracked the, the nuts. <laughs> nee, no, we do it. The bolts.
Roll it out, yes, and out of the way. Whenever you get the oil, remember whenever you get the oil out of your rear end. A gear. Always loosen your filler plug first. Because if you have a problem with uh, this getting out and you already got the oil out, you can't go, you can't take it anywhere for, yeah, for help. So remember that. So. That's an Allen 6. So, oh, give it a quick smackety smack. I'm sure this is enough. Yep. Then, the bottom side is wrench 19. A smackety smack too. I have a clean. Wait a minute. Absolute 100% clean bucket. Oh, wait a minute. We're gonna give this. This is sand also. Nothing much, 200 cc's not in there. Okay. This is really stinky stuff. <laughs> oh, my luck. Shavings. Some tiny metal, mm, yeah, splinters. That's the first indication something is going on. Yep, I'm not sure. I can show them. Mm, yes. Mm, yeah. This one, good first, okay. Yes, and there is an aluminium washer. We're gonna renew that for a copper washer. Guys. While the oil is still dripping out, I'm going to crack these bolts. Because later on you have it off the bike and then it's more difficult. But now it's easy. Sure, to wiggle it good in. Oh, oh. <laughs> Not that tight. Up. Give them all a go. 
quick. Up. Up. So get them in as deep as you can because there is sand in it and a bit of rust. take these two tie wraps off. One, okay, and his brother, hop, two, and a lot of sand again. This thing out of the way. Rubber uh, harmonica thing. So. Now, guys, we need to heat this up to max 120 degrees Celsius. So, first, I'm gonna get my fluke. It's now nicely at 10 degrees. <laughs> sure. now at 113. So let's give it a go. Mm, uh, here, when you heat it enough, no problem. Ooh, <laughs> the whistling sound. So, and now, before I'm gonna loosen the other one, I'm gonna lose in this. Also a washer, a nut and a washer, but this one, I'm going to put it over here, like this, so, okay, first I'm going to clean this one, and this one is in here, okay. Need that one off. Thirty. Yep, thirty. So now this one is now at thirty-five. I think there is Loctite onto there too. It's 
60, 70. This is around 110. So, this side, okay? One, two, three. Oh, yes. No, it wasn't that difficult. Huh? Okay, then, not too tight, you adjust it, see, so, you take it off, see, and there it comes. <laughs> Hoppa! So, yes. Old grease. I have to. So. Hop. This one. Could be. Ow. Hot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then we go to the other side. One. Take this one and now uh, plop. This one falls out, and that's the other side there. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, still good. Uh, lubricated. Yes, well done. Ta -ta. <laughs> Clean it, clean everything. Okay, now. Oh. So, how easy was that? Very easy. Very easy. This one off. Now, first. Okay. Yes. This one in. Guys, first I'm gonna clean it with petrol, the outside. Okay, now guys, we're gonna give this baby a clean. And that's easy. Ja, dan maar jou niks aan te doen. 